I absolutely believe in the healing power of the arts and of theater. It's what brought me back to my true self and helped me to find my voice. Doing this work is so important right now because it is how I can be of service to my community. Being physically and socially distanced from my friends and my family and my coworkers and even my daily routine means that I'm craving some stability. I'm craving some familiarity in my life and I can only imagine that our students and participants are experiencing the same thing that I am. When we are in the room with our students, it's really transformative work that we're doing. So we're hoping that um, by continuing to do this virtually, that it'll have a similar response. I'm still able to see all of you guys and I still get to try, we'll still try to be able to do the play that we always do. Cause those are always really fun and funny to, when we're when we're like rehearsing and practicing and stuff. Well, at least for myself, I remember like about early in April when I had like no motivation to do anything. And I was just, I didn't wanna do anything because I was so used to having a busy schedule and I feel like now like this program allows us to be kind of more connected with others and like not feel so alone. With the whole quarantine going on um, I'm home like all the time and this this workshop is an outlet that I can express myself. I, f I feel like even though this is virtually, I'm still really happy that I get the chance. And hopefully after everything is done, I can still be a part of this. So my teaching artist partner and I have been pre-recording videos and uh, listing those on our school's website so that students can access them at their convenience. We are happy to be with you today uh, virtually. We have a new game plan and Monique is going to explain it to you. Yeah, so today will be your first day in workshop with us, but we have a series of videos and exercises for you all to do. And I know that we just finished writing the play and we have it all finished for you and we're gonna do something really amazing with it. So stay tuned on that. And we're just really excited to continue theater workshops with you all. So now we're gonna give you an example of what improvised dialogue will look like. In this scene that Carissa and I set up, I'll be playing a mom who has to work from home now because of the coronavirus. And Carissa will be playing my daughter who is home from school. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, that's my bike. Hey, that's my bike. Hey, that's my backpack. Hey, that's my backpack. Hey. Hey. You. You get off my cloud. Get off my cloud. And when we uh, finish our videos, at the end, we invite our students to share these exercises with their family or at the people that, uh, with the people that they are at home with. The virtual part is kind of weird, but that was just like the first time, the first meeting on Monday. But, you know, everything went pretty okay. <laughs> I, I liked it. Um, it's the same energy. We, you know, we have the same vibe, and I don't. It's okay with me, you know. Jasmine, I have a gift for you. Oh, um, relax. It's a new puppy. Oh, <laughs> um, thanks. Especially during quarantine, lonely. <laughs> I'm excited when we do the the weekly check-ins. It really, really helps something to look forward to every week. I try my best to stay involved because I want to see other people grow and do great things as well as vice versa. I'm sure people want to see me do great things too, which it's just great to have that, that circle and that community of people that are all striving for greatness and want to see each other succeed. They appreciate that we're showing up for them in this way and providing a source of connection. And I'll continue to do it. I believe it's important that everyone knows that their voice matters. I'm done. <laughs>